Hi, welcome to what's new in SolidCam. In this video, we will look at the new function of creating automatic 3 plus 2 toolpaths inside SolidCam. Let's look at the toolpath. Auto 3 plus 2 toolpaths in SolidCam can now be created using three different methods. One is manual, semi-automatic and automatic method. In this video, we will look at the manual method. So let's select the manual method. In the manual method, the software SolidCam expects the user to define the planes from which the toolpath will be calculated. So let's select our planes. So my first plane is going to be from the Z plus direction. I'll add another plane in this direction. I'll add another plane in this direction. I'll also add another plane in this direction and I'll also add another plane in this direction. So now I have got total number of five planes defined. However, if you look closely at the part, my part also has another direction coming from this side. So I need to have another face. So I'm going to add the sixth face which is basically this one. So I'm going to also be able to machine from this direction. So I have now defined the direction. My tool is going to be a 12 diameter corner radius one bull nose tool. And I'm going to check against the in process stock, the holder as also with the machining surface. And let's go to geometry and in the stock since after machining from a couple of directions I'm, I'll start getting undercuts in the stock I've also said or selected the stock has undercuts so that it doesn't just go and machine thin air after once it has exited the stock so this is all that we need to define and of course the passes the step down step over tolerance and the other regular parameters that one would define in roughing. I'm going to save this and we will calculate this toolpath. The calculation is currently on and uh, it creates the toolpath from one direction, updates the stock, recalculates the toolpath from the other direction taking into account the updated stock updates the stock again and then calculates from a different direction and so on till it has machined from all the directions that has been defined by the user. Okay, the toolpath is now ready. We'll just run the simulation. So I'll go into solid verify and we will run the toolpath. So you can see that SolidCam tries to machine as much as possible from the main direction, which is basically the Z direction. And whatever then remains off is passed on to the other direction by the means of updated stock. So all these stock calculations are done automatically by SolidCam and then passed over to the uh, calculation to take them to take the updated stock into account and then machine it. You can see that it's now respecting the directions that I asked it or I asked SolidCam to machine and then finally does the machining from that direction and you can see that the entire part has now been completely calculated using the 3 plus 2 roughing. Thank you very much for watching this video.